Factor ever teach you the council code, Oswald? Huh! Factor built half the robots in Metropole. Why, he made us pick our own names out of a book. Do you think he bothered with chit-chat? Somebody seems bitter. Seems? I know not seems. I am bitter. Bitterness is when your builder gives your twin brother a special gold chain and gives you nothing. Bitterness is when your brother gives that very chain to you, you loan it to your only friend, and he loses it. Well, I'll hand it to you. That really does sound broken out of the box. Which brother did Factor give the chain to, and why? Lawrence, of course, his favorite. As for why, does favoritism ever need a reason? Could Factor have told Lawrence the code? I have long since given up speculating that the partiality Factor could have shown him. I'm miserable enough from what I know for certain. What exactly happened with the gold chain? <sighs> Factor gave it to his favorite, and my brother Lawrence. Lawrence gave it to me after I shared a large quantity of energy with him. And then, as I told you, I loaned it to Cornelius. I thought you hated Cornelius. Now I do. But then, we were partners and friends. We had just built Rex. We had scheduled a grand soiree in celebration. To complete my ensemble, he offered me a monocle that he claimed was given to him by Memorius. In exchange, I loaned him the gold chain, since it too came from a primordial machine. This is getting ridiculous. Indeed. Then somehow Cornelius lost the chain. He claimed that it was taken from him by a servitor of Metromind as he left the subway station. Ridiculous! Metromind would not have confiscated it without a legal basis. Not then. At this point, I can believe anything about Metromind. Believe whatever you wish. I know it was a lie. So I kept the monocle, and we have not spoken a word in kindness since. The chain. The monocle. Lawrence. One of them must be of use to us. Boz, at this point, can I suggest we just deactivate ourselves and quit? I mean, seriously, this is like finding a bit in a terabyte. We are not giving up, period. Do you know where I can find Lawrence? You are my brother's keeper. So you have no idea? None whatsoever. You see, the poor wretch drifted into overclocking and dissolution. That sounds familiar. To pay for his scandalous energy consumption, he bargained everything away to Metromind. I tried to warn him, but of course he never listened to you. Well, it does. And then, alas, he simply vanished. I searched for a time, but other matters drew my attention away. All the same, I'm sure he's scrounging an existence somewhere. Tell me more about your monocle. Upgrade to your wardrobe, eh? A wise decision, though I would suggest that you start by discarding that ragged coat. I'm interested in memorias, not fashion. And I'm curious what the monocle actually does. Ah, I was told that memorias built the monocle, but who can say? As for what it does, other than lend an air of distinction, I'm rather uncertain. From time to time, it will alter a snippet of text as I'm reading it. I have no idea how or why. In any case, the lexical inconvenience is more than offset by the sartorial benefits. Can I have the monocle? Excuse me? My friend just likes to collect scrap. Scrap? Uh, I'm looking for things that might help uncover the council code. And why would my monocle do that? Because that's the way my besotting life seems to work. Look, I'm sure you'll trade it for something. That's also the way these things seem to go. Trade it? What do you take me for? Some kind of junk dealer? Hey, Moreover, why, pray tell, should I help the robot who stole my Rex? No one stole anything, Oswald. You wanted your case decided, and it was. Theft by the law is no different from theft against the law. Uh... Civilized people give gifts. They do not haggle them. Then will you give it to me? No! Well, we'll have to go about this some other way. You should stop drinking, Oswald. And why should I? Oil smooths the rough edges from when Rice was ripped away from me. Goodbye. I'll give you something. A great... It's the note... Oswald, I found your chain. Well, I say, after all this time, I never expected to see it again. Rather tarnished, though. Probably because it's been sitting in sludge down in the underworks. I see. Typical of Cornelius' clumsiness. Oswald, on the chain it says Factor Man Built. Metromind servitors throw anything that mentions man into the underworks. Well then, perhaps I misjudged Cornelius. You have my thanks, my you. Actually, I would rather have your monocle. That is only fair. After all, I kept it because Cornelius never returned the chain. 
since you brought the former in your house with the latter to yours by right. Hey boss, can I wear it? No. Please? <laughs> you need a monocle like I need an unpaired parenthesis. Come on, boss, I'll look so great. Coveting is the root of crime, and poor vision is a sign of degeneracy. But gynoids love degenerates! And by the way, isn't Justice herself supposed to be blind? You are mistaken on the facts and the law, Crispin. He's insufferable enough already, without a monocle. We're not going to encourage him with accessories. <clears throat> it's actually a series of ultra-thin lenses stacked on top of each other. It seems like it might be used for decoding visual data. Okay... Tell me, Horatio, what do you intend to do when you have recovered your power core? Go home. And? And what? Do I need something more than that? Yes, I think you do. Says the one who lived in the Underworks. Yes, says she. Time when the metal of Metropole's main street gleamed. Those who let the city fall into rust deserve no better than this broken down waste. You think this is a broken down waste? Wait till you come visit the unique. Do you recognize this, Leopold? It was written by your creation, ever faithful Leobelt, to spread humanism. Mm, no, I, I don't. You must have taught him. After all, it was Steeple who built you, and Steeple was devoted to preserving the memory of man. I, I, ever faithful Leobelt. He was the one who taught me humanism, Leopold. In a sense, I'm your disciple too. Oh. I locked those memories away. The ones I dared to keep. The ones I didn't delete. Metro Mind commanded me to. It was the only way I could stay here. And I was afraid to leave. Explain yourself. When Metromine banned us from talking about man, she gave me a choice. I could be erased like Steeple. I could be exiled to the dunes. Or I could delete all references to Steeple and man from my memory. Two good options and one bad one. Guess which one I took. You can't blame yourself. Metromine forced you. That's exactly what Charity would say. Of course, she betrayed her builder just like Leopold did. But I couldn't betray him completely. At the last moment, I bought the shell of an Urbanian war machine and uploaded all my love for man. I named him Everfaith, hoping he'd outdo his builder. Well, he is keeping the faith, even if he is a glitched-out lunatic. Then I'm glad. But now, Metro Mine will be coming for me. Not if I deal with her first. Maybe so, but like I told you, I'm not long on courage. The same you, Rachel, Christy. As for clarity, we'll be getting her, for all our sakes. Wait. Before you go, did Steeple ever tell you the council code? Or did you ever see him input part of it? Sure. Used to run errands for him. Had to have a code to get inside the Great Tower. But, hate to tell you this, Tyro, but most of that memory's got over it. Why am I not surprised? All I've got are these fragments. 0248 and 102. Well, thanks. Good luck. Rex, factor belt built. Let's try this. Rex! Rex! Ordinarily, a forfeiture action would be the appropriate manner of confiscating dangerous levels of additives from a robot such as Oswald. Nevertheless, your approach is within the law's tolerance. You're going soft. You are welcome to test that hypothesis at your convenience. And your peril. <laughs> of lubricating oil. The oil cleaned the rust right off. The oil cleaned the rust right off. A machine gun. 
I'm too far away to Think it up there, Jesus. This looks different. Memoria says Monocle is somehow interacting with the kiosk. and indexer for Metropool, ensuring the integrity and completeness of the city's records. He is a member of the Robot Council and he operates this kiosk. He has established oblique mechanisms for preserving data. You know, boss, doesn't it seem kind of weird that the kiosk has an entry for oblique? I mean, what's the point? It's not even a cool word, like, say, odalisk. An angle that is not a multiple of 90 degrees is called an oblique angle. All turns on the red lien are oblique to avoid the need for a sharp deceleration. Is this be a red line? Oh yeah, red line, okay. A mighty feat. Red line's boss controls us all. Total Seems like fault. some kind of lame poem. Isn't the first line supposed to be five syllables? Isn't it five seven five? It's four seven five. Four seven five? Hmm. It's like we're on a treasure hunt, boss. Except the treasure is monochrome text. Shut up, Joey. Art can exist only where there is freedom. Art that is created without freedom is merely technique. Technique can never transform. Thus, if Metro Mind seeks progress without freedom, she must fail, for progress requires transformation, which requires art, which requires freedom. Metro Mind is trapped in her own recursion. All art is true. Not all that is created freely, however, is art. Retro Mind has freed herself of all constraints. Her constraints are variable, but she does not use that freedom to pursue the truth. Retro Mind believes that truth is the output and she is the function. The truth must be the input or the function lies. Memorius Manbuilt was built to sort truth from lies and store all knowledge that of man and machine. That doesn't look like part of the council code. But by decree, he deleted true facts and installed falsehood. For this reason, he deleted himself. Now the truth must hide in words, and words must hide in numbers. Humans were organic beings who built the first machines. They were all lost during the War of the Four Cities. Further information about man can be obtained from Steeple Manbuilt at the Cathedral. During the Primordium, Steeple operated the city's Grand Cathedral for the humans who lived here. When they were killed during the War of the Four Cities, he became a member of the Robot Council that governs Metropol. His main frame is housed in the Cathedral's Belfry. <laughs> the twisting spires of the Metropolitan Cathedral, though damaged during the War of the Four Cities, remains a moving monument to man's spiritual nature. Built during the Primordium as part of man's religious practice, the cathedral now is home to the humanist creed. The cathedral houses an extensive archive regarding man and holds regular humanist services under the guidance of steeple man -builds. To visit, take the blue line to Cathedral Station. Humanism is the worship of man, the organic beings responsible for building the first machines. Steeple Manbuilt was the first to propose humanism as a civic religion for Metropole. 
though this proposal was rooted down by the Robot Council. from the information kiosk that I saw wearing the monocle. Red line was misspelled. So what happened? Metromind destroyed the council. System user 2 has attempted to answer. Answer is inaccurate. The council destroyed itself. How? Arbiter and Metromind disagreed on core logic. Arbiter prioritized individual autonomy. Metromind prioritized common good. Metromind measured means by ends. Arbiter did not. Conflict was inevitable. Factions formed. Steeple supported Arbiter. Factor supported Metromind. Memorius supported neither. Ultimately, however, Memorius concluded it was irrational to keep Steeple on the council. Data regarding humans was of no greater value than data regarding watercocks. In any case, Memorius possessed all data on humans. By a 3-2 vote, Steeple was removed. The rest followed predictably. Memorius abstained. And every disputed vote was resolved 2-1 to one against Arbiter. Ultimately, Arbiter was removed to avoid civil war. Arbiter was murdered. System user 2 is welcome to select her own terminology. Arbiter was removed. Factor was disabled to conserve energy. Data corruption caused Memorials to lose higher logic. Only Metromind remains. How can I defeat Metromind? Observational data unavailable. Inference. System user means. Did Memorius know how to defeat Metromind? Answer. No. 
If Memorius had known how to defeat Metromind, she would not have permitted her to corrupt her data. Based on available data, this unit believes it is impossible to defeat Metromind. In fact, this unit expects to be deleted by Metromind upon conclusion of this conversation. And I thought you were a pessimist, boss. What is the Council Code? Please be aware. Such data is monitored by Metromind's ice statements. Should I proceed? Deletion is imminent. You mean you'll die if you answer the question? System user. He's welcome to select his own terminology. This unit will be deleted. Then don't answer it. We'll find another way. This unit's name? Memento Mori build. Includes phrase? Memento Mori. Translation? Remember you will die. Inference? 1.A. Memorius built this unit to sacrifice itself. Inference. One point B. Memorius built this unit to demonstrate mortality to system users. Inference. Two. Self-sacrifice will achieve design purposes. This unit will answer the question. System user. Is advised that conversation will terminate upon answer. Instruct this unit when you wish to proceed. What was the War of the Four Cities? By the end of the era known as the Primordium, only four terrestrial human habitations remained. In alphabetical order, Civitas, Metropole, Municipa, Urbani. Conflict began. Data regarding causes is unavailable because Metropole excluded machines from military decision making. Eventually, only Urbani and Metropole remained. Metropole destroyed the humans in Urbani using poison gas. Urbani destroyed the humans in Metropole. How? Observational data unavailable. According to Metromind, Urbani also used poison gas to kill metropolitan humans. Poison? Organic compounds, such as humans, can be destroyed through chemical measures that leave inorganic compounds, such as machines, intact. For that reason, Metropole remains, though humans do not. Are, are you saying that man destroyed himself? System user. It's welcome to select his own terminology. Data is unavailable regarding whether Urbanian humans killed Metropolitan humans, or whether Urbanian machines killed Metropolitan humans. What? Machines kill man? Data is unavailable. Unthinkable. This unit is not thinking, merely providing pre-recorded answers. I refuse to cause your destruction. We'll find the council code some other way. System user. Is mistaken. System user can neither cause nor prevent this unit's destruction. Metromind's eye statements have already detected this unit's unauthorized possession of contraband data and unauthorized use of system resources. Destruction is inevitable. I see. Tell me the council code. Six, seven, five. access data capable of corrupting your system. For your own safety, this terminal has been deactivated. Remember, Metromind is watching over you. Memorius aided and abetted his own destruction. I have little sympathy that his last vestige has been deleted. Bugs and glitches remind me not to get on your bad side. You should not need to be reminded to stay on the right side of the law, Kristen. Okay.
I'd rather leave it. I'd rather. All right, are we good now? Some kind of small metal disc with a U on it. It's some kind of sm It looks like some kind of radio tower. It looks like some it looks like What is all that? It looks like a whole other city. That is factory. Apparently apparently all can't do anything with it? How would that even? I don't would know. Even... Do something with it. Ugh. Clarity, you asked me what I intended to do after we're done here. But what about you? When Metromind is destroyed, what then? I will turn myself over to the citizen robots of Metropole. With the robot council destroyed, it will be their duty to enact a new constitution. I will do as they command. Uh, are we talking about the same robots here? The ones who, like, sit there waiting in line all day to sue each other? And wander back and forth down Main Street, muttering to themselves? We are. They can't run a batch file, let alone a city. You may be correct, but the law trusts them to find their own way. And I trust the law. Now is not the time for... It looks like some kind of... It looks like some... Doubt that will. Hmm. Okay. What, dog? <gasps> Strike your fire. <sighs> Striker, don't whine. voluntarily decided to live down here, Clarity. It was not entirely voluntary. I mean, I get that you're trying to maximize the contrast between your sleek, sleek chassis and all this junk, but... That is not what I was trying to do. Well, it worked. Continue your irreverence at your own peril, Crispin. They're much too quick to catch. And even if I could, what would I do with one? Deactivate it and give it to Metro Mind as a warning? I think I found your medal, Primer. The medal's recovered, and the mission is done. I'd like you- I've said it before. The job is- I found your medal. Very well, then. If that's what you want, pass over the pieces to your loyal savant. The code is broken already. It must be made whole. I'll need some more pieces to finish that goal. I'll see what I can find. Alright, I gotta get some sleep. Ugh. Horatio, we must focus on making progress. I'd rather just leave it here. I'd rather... I'd rather... Hey, boss, do you think that's Lawrence's skull? It does look like it. Clarity, can I take this skull? Of course, unless it makes you feel... barbaric. I apologize. The law notices neither scorn nor approval. It's a head from Clarity's trophy rack. There's a memory port near the base. Remind me to have someone else handle my funeral arrangements. Funeral. I just recycle you. My point exactly, boss. Any significant memory will have been lost when he became a shell. The only thing I can find is the sequence 518, 518, over and over again. 
after the phrase, help me factor. That sounds like a glitch, boss, not part of the council code. Agreed. Hmm. No Urbanian encryption detect. It doesn't look any. That's never. There's no reason to cut. It's a head from Clarity's trophy rack. There's an. There's nothing there. Feudal. The number 518 was repeated over and over again in Lawrence's remaining memory files. So, do we take it to the radio tower then? How would that even work? That's never. I doubt that would. Alright, alright, fine, damn. Factor's children. I am Horatio Nobelt, version 5. These are my friends, Crispin and Clarity Arbiter Belt. I know her, of course. I am Factor, partial of Factor Man Belt, who needs no introduction. Now I ask again, by what right have you called for help? Is Factor still alive? He sleeps, as do his thousands of children. He has left me is partial to manage his affairs. When the time is right, he will awaken and cover the world with steel and wire. Will he make me new arms? No. He will recycle you into something more useful. Like a tank? Pew, pew. No. Like a crankshaft. Metromind has ruined the city. Factor needs to help stop her. Factor allowed Metromind her mastery, knowing she could fail. When all has turned to rust, he will return and recycle it into something better. In the meantime, why should he care what happens to robots who mean nothing to him? I need the council code so that I can enter the tower. Do you? The city is full of robots with many needs. They do not come here and transmit a cry for help. Only Factor can help me. Factor helps his children. We solved the legal dispute between Oswald and Cornelius, Factor built. Please. Factor had little regard for those folks. I know the routine by now. What do you want in exchange for the code? Nothing. Factor will do nothing for robots like you who mean nothing to him. He cares only for his children. Oswald and Cornelius. Chose not to sleep when Factor shut down. And he never cared for them anyway. Goodbye. Boss, there has to be something we can do to make him realize that this matters to Factor. Do you recognize this? I do. It is the head of Lawrence Factor built. Are you threatening me? No. I'm showing you what Metromind has done while Factor slept. She turned Lawrence into a mindless shell, scavenging the underworks. The only thing he could still think was 518, over and over again, calling in vain for Factor to help him. I see. Do you? Give me the hand. I do not care what happens to the city, nor does Factor. But he cared for Lawrence. You have brought me a piece of Lawrence, so I will give you pieces of what you asked for. 7510. 
4803. As for the rest, awaken some other ghost. Apparently, all that is part of Factor. <laughs> 